So have you ever considered putting a paracord on your walking stick? You know, it has more uses than just making it pretty. It also makes a great handhold. Keeps your hand from slipping on the stick. And if you put a lanyard in there with it, then if you drop your stick, <coughs> you'll cough. You'll be able to catch it and not maybe lose it over a cliff or something or in the river because these will float. So there's different colors of paracord. Now I've made a few sticks, so I've used some of these colors already. There's, I got pink and red here. I got some medium green, some darker green, some green and black, a couple different oranges. We got a red and a black here. Ooh, neon green. They'll see you coming with that. And then red, white, and blue, which is what we're gonna use on this video. So to get started, you wanna cut a piece of paracord for your walking stick. And it can vary in feet by the diameter of your stick. I'm gonna guess this stick is an inch and a half in diameter. That was a good guess. <laughs> so, I don't know exactly how to do the math on these. I do know, however, that for this size of a stick, I'm gonna need about 20 feet of paracord. So, I measure my table here and it's 40 inches. So to get my 20 feet, I'm gonna need about seven lengths across this. So we're just gonna do seven. Be a little over 20 feet. I'm taking this pin out, handy dandy pin. I don't know if you can see that. And you're gonna to wanna to keep that pin handy. So what I'm gonna do is go there, that's one. That's two, that's three, four, five, six, and seven. Two right here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this. We've got 21 feet here. Now, I've cut this, and you can't really see it well, but it's a little bit frayed. Now, if you look at this one, this is actually a blowout in the side of the paracord. It got damaged by me. Hate to admit it. So, we don't want to work with this end untreated, which we're gonna burn it and have it look something like that. So we're just gonna take a little lighter here and I like to burn mine into a little ball without burning myself. That'll be good enough there. We're gonna let it set for a minute. And at the same time, I'm gonna do it on the spool also and that's just gonna protect the spool. So when I start next time, this, this will already be good to go here. A little bit windy out. It doesn't wanna play nice. There, it played nice. So I'm gonna let that set for a minute. Actually, I'm gonna leave it out just a hair. I'm gonna stick my pin back in so my cord does not unravel. All right, so we've got, see if you sit it down in the wrong spot, it'll do that to you. So we've got our 21 feet now. Now we're gonna start wrapping this. And I always have to think about it. Every time that I start a new one, how do I do this? 
So we're going to actually do this the other direction. It's your preference. I'm going to loop it about like that. About 12 inches on either side. So remember that 21 feet and I said we need about 20. I was allowing for this also. So what we're going to do is grab it like well, about right here. So here's the end. And I'm actually going to wrap it. Let's grab it about right here instead. So we're going to grab it right here instead. Put my finger out there and we're going to wrap this three times. That's two. That's three. We're going to bring this around through the hole. Point it towards you. We're going to go right down through the middle of that hole. And just like that. And then we're going to pull it tight. Just like that. Now what this does is this will actually make a slip knot. So you got your cord like this. It's tight and now I can make a small slip knot or I can pull it out and make it bigger. So I want to leave it plenty big there. So that's getting us started. Now we're just going to like tie in your shoes, we're going to do a half knot in this. Got to get everything through just like that. And again, it's wrong. It's backwards. I do it every time. So check this out. Bam. Now it's not backwards. So we kind of want to also adjust where we want this. So I'm going to stand up. I'm gonna put my hand on the stick about right there. I'm actually gonna try to incorporate all that into the process here. And if you look, I've already drilled this for a lanyard. All I was gonna put on it was a lanyard, but now I'm gonna do a hand grip too. So you got your half loop there. You're gonna bring it around like this. And at this point, I like to throw that up there and get it out of my way. You're gonna wrap it under. Let's do that again, just so that we're clear. It's a little bit messy here. So we've got our half knot here, like tying our shoes. We'll bring this one back over that half knot. We go underneath it, bring it back over, and now we're gonna go underneath this cord. And here we go, 21 feet. Well, not really. We're 19 and a half feet here. Bam, like that. So now we're gonna wanna bring this knot up here and we're gonna wanna cinch it. There we go, right like that. So we're gonna pull them both and we're gonna cinch it up tight. And then we need to push it up a little bit to keep it tight. We're gonna go over, under, bring this back through again. And unfortunately, we still have about 19 and a half feet to pull through. As this goes down, this will get less that you'll have to pull through. So now we are here. I like to pull it back that way. It keeps it tight and then pull it back towards me. And now it's, it's pretty tight on there right now. So you just keep repeating the process over under 19.5 feet now. Oh, that's 19 and a half. <laughs> Cinch it up. Bring your knot back up to here. So now I've got three of these knots. Pull it tight.
Okay, so as you can tell, we're getting pretty close to the end here. Make a couple more of these. And again, make sure you push these up, keep them tight. Coming down the stretch here, down the home stretch. Looks like this is gonna be the last one. Now from this point, there's different things you can do. You can tie a knot here and cinch it up if you'd like. What I actually do is I'll cut it up about an eighth to a quarter of an inch. A little bit of waste there. And I will take my lighter. And I will get this hot. What I'm trying to do here is get that into a ball. So that's in a ball. We're just going to smash that down a little bit. And there you go. I said three wraps. If you count them, there's about three wraps on there. So burning this should prevent that from pulling through. You've got your lanyard up here at the top, so you can go bigger, smaller, however you want. Hold it like that. Then if you want to cinch it up onto your hand, you just do that and you are now cinched around your wrist. And you can go out and walk that way. So tell me what you think about this. Did this improve the looks of this plain walking stick? So leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Can't wait to hear your comments. Everybody take care. Have a great day.